What's going on fellow members of the Juke Squad? Before I kick this video up, I got a little side story. So, tourists for skimboarders has been a topic for as long as I can remember. Ever since I started skimboarding, there would always be that one tourist who would get pissed off for absolutely no reason. So, my little brother and his friends were skimboarding right outside my house. They were asked to move down the beach by a couple of ladies. Um, they said that the ladies were very rude to them and very demanding in asking them to move down the beach. Which I think is ridiculous anyway because they're literally skimming right outside of our house. And so I go out there to see this. One of the ladies standing on top of my little brother's friend's skimboard. Demanding that they leave and move down the beach or she wasn't going to give the skimboard back and she was going to call the cops. Seeing as every cop in the county knows me by name, I told them to go right ahead and send them up to my house. I never gotten any bad arguments with the cops. It was always positive experiences. They were always really nice to me, very understanding of my pranks and my videos. So I figured we could dispute this situation very easily because my brother didn't actually do anything wrong. He was skimboarding on the beach. Can I ask why you're standing on my little brother's board? Yeah, these are all my brothers. I work to do. Notice how she's immediately extremely rude to me without even explaining the situation. I work to do. Yeah, they're extremely disrespectful. Sadly, my camera was full on memory and stopped recording right after I basically started yelling at them because I felt extremely disrespected by how rude they were being to me when I had just walked out there and I was just trying to figure out what was going on. I mean, I walk out and the lady's standing on my little brother's board, which is far worse than anything that they had done. Let me also just say that her withholding my little brother's skimboard is way more illegal than anything that we did. That could technically be theft. I don't think they knew that. And they started yelling at me, telling me that my brothers were disrespectful and rude and were calling them names and blah blah blah, which I know not to be true. I know my little brother and his friends wouldn't do that. They were just out there trying to skimboard. Got in a big argument with them and I told them, listen, you do understand you're telling my little brother he's not allowed to skimboard outside of his own house. Yeah, you turn around, you see that? That's my house. You're sitting in front of it and you're telling him to move. Notice in the video how they aren't even in the water, they're next to the water and they just decided to start yelling at my little brother and his friends because they were skimboarding in front of where they were sitting, which happens to be, like I said, where we've been skimboarding our entire lives. They even went as far as saying that they were gonna have their husband and sons come out and beat my little brother up and his friends if they didn't move down the beach. Which didn't happen, they were just bluffing, they were just being mean old bags. I mean, as you can see, what kind of lady stands on a little kid's skimboard and tells him he can't ride it unless he moves down the beach? That's just ridiculous. I told them that if they want to move, that's fine, but my little brother and his friends are going to continue skimboarding where they are because it's right in front of our house. I actually ended up putting the post on Instagram of the lady standing on the board and it went viral and got hundreds of comments and thousands of likes and it was all over Facebook and it was pretty funny so I figured I would share it with you guys because I found it pretty entertaining too. I just think it's ridiculous how people can be so upset over nothing when my little brother and his friends were just out having fun and skimboarding. These ladies felt that they had the right to ask them to move away from where they and I have been skimming our entire lives. Eventually they just gave up and left and my brothers kept skimming, which I figured would happen in the first place. Let's transition from this conflict and get to the feel good moment of the video. All right, so I was out paddle boarding and surfing and some little kid came up to me and approached me and asked me if he could have some Juke Squad stickers. So I told him, no problem, and I go up to the house and get him some stickers, which I have inside this hat that I'm gonna give him. But I'm also going to give him one of the first ever Juke Squad skim boards. The kid had a board that didn't even have a logo on it and he didn't know what kind of board it was, so a um, little random act of kindness because it makes the world a better place. Let's go see how he and his mom react to him getting a brand new board. And I uh, actually haven't even sold any or given any away yet. And uh, you were super cool. You got jug written on your board, so I'm going to hook you up, man. Oh, Dad. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Can we see this one real quick? Look, he's, he's got He's got it written on his board right there. So, you know, I got this sticker pack hat. Anybody know what kind of board this is? Because I'm kind of curious. But uh, you know, we're just trying to do random acts of kindness in our videos now. First ever Juke Squad skin boards are coming soon. He's got the first one. Nobody else is going to have them for a little while, but I just wanted to let you guys know that it's going to happen. Hey man, we'll enjoy it. I'm just happy to be able to put guys up like yourself and watch my videos ever. 
Stickers, hat, and skimboard. That's what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm not going to go on that thing. It's padded up. We're going to skim set. Jug squat. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's cool. Jug squat. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. If any of you guys would like to skimboard with I and the Jig Squad, you now can. If you live in the Florida area and you want to come out and have some fun and skim, we are doing skimboarding camps through Island Surf Shop. All the information is on this flyer. If you want to call the shop for more info, you can. Or if you want to comment on my Instagram post about skim camp, I'll give you more information. But basically, you can come hang out. You can come skim with us. We'll give you a bunch of free stickers. We'll eat some lunch. We'll talk about videos. It's always a lot of fun. And if there's waves, who knows? We might be able to surf. Hope to see all you guys out there. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everyone. We got new pranks and new challenges coming very soon. If there's something in particular that you guys would want to see, leave that in the comment section below, and we'll try our best to go out and film it and post a video. If you have any Juke Squad stickers, I consider you a member of the Juke Squad. If you would like to become a member of the Juke Squad, all you have to do is go follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and you will get free stickers. There's a few instructions that you have to follow to get the stickers, but it only takes a couple of minutes, and we will hook you up. I promise it will be worth it. We'll send you some octopus stickers, we'll send you some dread clairs. Guaranteed to get at least 10, and we know you guys will be satisfied with them. Um, also, if you want to get some Juke Squad gear, go on jukesquad.com. We have tons of stickers, necklaces, t-shirts, hats, sunglasses. So go check that out. That's probably the best way you can support us. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Seriously, go hit that like button. You guys have been killing it on the likes lately. It only takes a couple minutes to create a YouTube channel and to like our videos, and we really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for spreading the word. Like I said, if you want to join the Juke Squad, go get yourself some free stickers. Follow me on Instagram, Musty Carlos. That's the most simple way. But if you don't have an Instagram, you can always go to our Facebook page. Links for all of it are in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you soon for a new video.